guys want injuries first? Sure. Do we want to be specific? Like, third and quarter? Uh, we'll be out today. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. I think it's going to be some days here, maybe a week or two. We'll just see. Um, you know, he's a tough guy. And, and we rehab as well, so we'll just see. Uh, again, we'll see. I, I, I don't know that. I just want to fresh off the injury. I think we've got to just see how he makes progress in this couple of days. Stevenson, uh, is it a foot to say one last year? Uh, it is a foot. Uh, I couldn't tell you exactly if it's the same one from last year. I didn't keep up on that, I was so, so. <laughs> Pick one, right? <laughs> uh, but it's unfortunate. He was having a good camp, um, so we'll see where we go. Uh, no, uh, it's going to be more than it's going to be more than weeks at this point. How much your offensive line? Yeah, I think uh, Roger. Start with Roger. He's making progress. Good progress. I know he wants to be out there. I think we're getting closer, and uh, we'll just continue to take it one day at a time here. Bates um, should be working a little bit today out there. Uh, he's going to work and get back. And, and, uh, so he should be out there in some capacity. And then Spencer, is that what you asked about? Spencer worked the other day a little bit. Um, he'll work a little bit more uh, today, and then also see him in one on one just a little bit as well. So. Yeah, I just want to, you know, stay on top of that, making sure that uh, we're doing right by the player and right by the team and that we are making progress, albeit incremental progress, but we're pushing forward uh, or moving forward on that uh, one day at a time. What level of concern is that they're all banged up? Some aren't, you know, I just seem to have a question about when this trade is terrible, we can start at the same time. Yeah, um, I'll talk more about Micah and Jordan because they've been out there. Uh, I'm not overly concerned. I'm always concerned when guys miss time because you need that time to practice. Whether you've been together like Mike and Jordan have or not, practice is, is important to, to performance. So, uh, you know, with that, uh, we'll just see where it goes. And I think Mike will be out there a little bit more today as well. You may have touched on this, Sean, but as camp progresses, the situation with the offensive line remains in flux. How concerned are you? You know, formative time, um, new position coach there, new coordinator. Uh, how much of an impact does that potentially have? Yeah, it's, you know, again, it's. it's it's a little, it's, it's never ideal, um, but I'm very confident in the guys that are in there. Um, and if that's how it goes, that's how it goes. And uh, I'm confident in those guys, and you will find a way through it. Um, you know, uh, spots are earned at the end of the day. They're earned through, uh, through availability and, and guys that are out there practicing. Was Redman's uh, that day, the other day, or was he? He was banged up. He's, he's also working through. Uh, some soreness right now, so maybe out there a little bit today, uh, but it'll be limited if he is. Can you maybe talk to where that kid is in his progression and why is he getting some kind of key reps now? Yeah, he's had a good start to, to camp. Uh, you know, he's played a couple different positions right now. And, um, you know, he seems to be have a good way about him. His disposition uh, on the field, off the field, uh, his football IQ. Uh, he's got a combination of size and some ability to move there as well. So, um, again, we're going to take him one day at a time, not get too far ahead of ourselves, but we wanted to get him some, some run with the ones and, and see how we fare. I mean, a combination of things. Um, you know, I like those small school guys, and, and uh, you know, it's a special place in my heart for those guys that come from where it's not or not as well known. And um, you know, you look.
look at his history and what he's done, and he's achieved uh, when the odds have been stacked against him a little bit, both in life and on the football field. So uh, I think that's a little bit of what we're seeing right now. And there's, I mean, when you study that, there's, there's, uh, there's something to that, right? People who have been through and faced adversity and developed some resiliency through their life up to this point, and that usually serves them well here. How much do you think the experiences and the pressures that you face in Miami, and also helping the mentor Cam Newton and just help him prepare for a situation like this where a lot of eyes are on? Yeah, I mean, in a similar way to Christian, like we just talked about, uh, you look at his his resume, his life history, his body of work to this point, I think all of that uh, feeds into who he's become now. And, uh, it's no different than anyone. The older you get, the more experiences you have, the more wisdom you, have, you build up, and um, you become better each each and every day. So uh, I think all of that, you know, as a player playing at, at the U, um, and what he was able to do there on that team, on the teams he had, and, and, uh, and then his playing time in the NFL, uh, and then now what he's done through his coaching career, I think all that serves him well. Tomorrow's practice in the stadium is the main problem. It'll we'll be, we'll be playing the game more, I would say. Uh, Mark, if that makes sense, to just playing the game, less scripted periods, uh, more just call it, play the game. Um, whether or not we go live remains to be seen, but kind of depends on maybe a little bit the health of the team as well. Yeah, um, you know, when Micah, with Micah and, and Jordan out, uh, whether it be the spring um, or, or this training camp, it provides an opportunity for, for Jaquan, for DeMar, for JT. We've, we've rolled uh, another player or two back there as well. So it's, it's an opportunity for another player to step in, get quality reps, gain experience, and for us to evaluate uh, what we have there on the roster. Talk about. I got distracted. <laughs> Jordan Poyer. Um, yeah, missing time isn't easy. I know it's not easy for for a guy like Jordan, uh, who's so passionate about the game. He loves to practice, loves to play. He's one of our leaders. Um, you know, he was here most of the time yesterday, getting treatment, and then again early this morning. So he's working through it. And um, again, I think guys see that. They see how hard he works and everything. So did I answer your question? Sean with Tim Settle. Back on the field today. Uh, a little bit as well, yeah. Tim will be out there. Uh, Jake will be out there. Kumaro as well, and I mentioned Ryan. So uh, we'll get some. We're getting some guys back at least in some capacity this morning. Yeah, I'm. You know, again, a young player that's uh, opened some eyes a little bit here um, in the run and pass game. And I think the biggest thing for for him in that position, being young, is you got to embrace the. the protection piece of it, what you do when the ball is not in your hand, whether it's ID and protections or whether it's actually physically blocking. So, um, but I know he's up He's up for the challenge. Sean, real quick, I'm sorry, just one more, I think tomorrow night is what I'm going to have yep. to I think before then. Um, what does a change of venue do for the guys? And, and again, it's a sold out situation, I think it's lower bowl or whatever, but uh, do you guys get fired up for a chance like this to kind of move things back? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, the change of venue, that's one of the kind of tidbits coming up here is, you know, A, our groundskeeper, Aaron Ramel at home, likes it that we're up here not on his grass down there, <laughs> killing the grass. Um, but it saves our fields down there a little bit. It gives the guys a change of scenery. And on top of that, I mean, the crowds we've had here are outstanding. The crowd that I know they're anticipating down there, uh, I know they're excited about playing in front of the fans. 
I know, I remember a couple years ago you said how important it is just to know where everything is when you get there and know what the operation looks like. Some guys have never been to the stadium and through that whole thing. How valuable is that to you, especially to the younger guys? Yeah, we'll do that. I mean, part of the, the objective of doing it is, is getting them into that mode a little bit before the first preseason game, whether it's a younger player, uh, a player like Vaughn who's been around but he's never really dressed in, a, in the game, game day locker room, taking them through a little bit of the run of show and, and seeing how they all handle it, but also giving them a chance to think about their routines and how it will be the following week against Indianapolis. Thank you. Thank you.